sorry, I, um, I'm in Paris and the connection is really bad. <laughs> Let's get started. You can hear me correctly, right? Yes. Perfect. All right, so um, regarding Shadow, the deposit contract, so as expected uh, last week, was uh, upgraded to the like final version we have. Um, we will have on Minute as well. Uh, it's also verified, so you can have a look if you want to. Uh, verified on Block Scout because we don't have Gnosis scan on on Shadow, but anyways, uh, so this would be considered like final at this point. Uh, for Mainnet, uh, the withdrawal contract has finally been fully audited by Chainsafe, so we are going to start the process of um, deploying it. So I'm actually doing, uh, I mean, going to do this right after this call as well, and then you have to go through. Um, like a proposal on the Gnosis DAO and everything to, well, put it on a vote, uh, agree on it, whatever, and then we can uh, upgrade the current version to that new contract. Uh, so hopefully, I mean, the proposal should be done by the end of this week or we are going to be late, so it has to be done. Uh, and I'll coordinate with Giacomo with, about this um, after this call as well. Uh, except for that, uh, well, we already had all the clients updated and released last week, so we're looking good on that part. Um, I think we're not missing much anymore. Probably we have to contact either scan to um, like update a few things and not show the withdrawals and the native balance and everything, but we already contacted, contacted them for that, so just making sure that uh, they got the memo and did the updates, and that's basically it. Uh, probably the same for Black Scouts. Uh, yeah, I'm going to shoot them a message after that. Um, yeah, so regarding Hive tests, uh, Igor told me a few updates as well, but maybe Markos, do you have uh, something to say about that? Uh, hi, Philip. Uh, this week, Igor and I work on the on the on set up a dashboard that you can find here uh, that as soon as uh, you give me the permissions on the repo we will have the results in real time for the test in this uh, right now for nethermind but as soon as we finish with ergon uh, we'll show ergon uh, test cases too uh, for withdrawals and basically that that has been our biggest task because otherwise I am working on Aragon. I fixed the the, the, the an, an error with the withdrawals that hasn't been applied. And I am looking on it. And uh, Igor is looking at the at the failing test and making them work as soon as possible. That's all on Hive. And regarding uh, regarding search. Uh, that you asked uh, two weeks ago. Uh, we were planning a uh, release for the end of this week with all the clients uh, fixed for Genosis. So I think that that's something good to address. Back to you, Philip. Perfect. Thank you. Yeah, I forgot to talk about such. Um, I, I actually thought it was already done, but good point. Uh, regarding the writes and the Hive test repo, I made your maintainer earlier today. So you should be able to do everything you need now. If not, well, keep me updated, of course. OK, thank you so much, Philip. Well, thank you, man. <laughs> uh, so regarding client updates, uh, never mind, do you have anything new? I guess there's this, uh, v, I mean, the issue with either the V6, I guess that was on either side and that's uh, never mind, and that's fixed now? Oh, it was, um, we can say both a bit but it is fixed uh, on our side. OK, perfect. Like just uh, a, uh, a small yeah. correction. So the last week, we released 1.20.0 with an improvement over the either's issue. But it's turned out to be not get compatible. So we rolled back in, in our latest release, the 1.20.1. But either's fixed it on their side, because the actual issue with the latest either's was uh, hex processing. It didn't expect the values to be hex. So it's now fixed there, and we rolled back the our initial uh, fix because of incompatibility, and we are waiting until get the we'll release an update, and then we'll restore it back. Uh, besides that, no updates. Yeah, and uh, Geth compatibility means also Prism compatibility in this case. 
So right. Uh, and uh, yeah, one update about ifcall. I've just got promising results uh, with testing one fix. So uh, probably we will have more more updates on about this issue. Okay, so is Geth like not uh, spec compliant on this or? Uh... Yeah. Yes, it wasn't. Uh, it, it it isn't. It isn't. Yes, it still uh, doesn't have a fix. Okay, okay, good to know. So I'm guessing this will have to stay for a bit until like everyone upgrades their notes. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, Aragon, do you have any news? I guess there's no one from Aragon. I'm on my phone, so I can't easily see it. Yeah, no, there's no one. All right, uh, Geth, I think Guillaume isn't here either. He's also in Paris, so... Okay. Uh, well, no, there's either. Uh, Gateway, do you have any news? Not much. So provided archival Aragon note to Guillaume. Also help Nezamind uh, team to look into our notes uh, for the issue we experienced and experiencing. Uh, basically, that's it. Perfect. Um, all right. Does anyone have any like concerns for mainnet or anything else to add? Okay. Yeah, just just one question regarding the contract upgrade. So we're expecting on the Nozis chain it will be deployed by the end of the week. Well, so um, the the contract will be deployed today, but then the upgrade will not happen this week because uh, the like the DAO. I mean, the the process takes too long for that. But it will be deployed, of course, before uh, August first. But on Shadow, it's done and dusted right now. Yeah, on Shadow, it's done. Yeah, but on Shadow, we we just have the private keys ourselves and can just upgrade it, whatever. But on Gnosis, we have to go through this whole governance thing, uh, so it takes more time. Right. Okay. Uh, does the deployment make sense to do some kind of another shadow fork after this deployment, or does it is it irrelevant? Irrelevant. Uh, I mean, we can do one if it's possible, but yeah, it's going to be a bit tight on on timing. I suppose. I think we never uh, done any shadow fork because. Uh, it's a good question why, but uh, I think it is more complicated than uh, for mainnet in this case. Weren't Jorge doing some shadow forks before? Or yeah, those? but uh, uh, I mean for withdrawals. Uh, because what was the reason that the plan is here, maybe? No, okay. No, he's I don't uh, remember yeah. exactly, but. Well, the, we decided not to go for it because one of the reasons was that there could be a replay attack to deploy the the deposit contract, but that's not the case anymore as we're deploying it on, on mainnet directly. And then I guess there's the issue about like spinning up a new uh, consensus layer with only validators as we control or something like that, which could be complicated, but you have more experience than me about for that. Yeah, so the main issue was actually deploying this contract, uh, right? But if that is not the case anymore, might be good to try to test it because um, anyway, we will have to train this path for future Ethereum upgrades. But uh, one blocker for this specific upgrade was this uh, deploy uh, deployment of this withdrawal contract. So I guess we could try to set up it, in my opinion. Yeah, for sure. Let's do that then, yeah. Uh, Ruben, could you speak with Carlos? Ah, Carlos is here, okay. Maybe Carlos want to add something here about Shadow Fork. No, no, no nothing right now. So initially, when we talked about this, we were thinking about like uh, editing the owner of the deposits uh, of the proxy of the deposit contract. 
so that we could like easily upgrade it without going through the the governance thing. Uh, is this still an option? Because in that, I mean, if we do that, well, maybe it can still be replayed. So that's not great. Well, I guess we can kind of hard code it in. Yeah, I'm not sure because the thing is, if we do the governance thing, then we will just have like two or three days left to actually do the shadow fork, which might be a bit tight, right? Yes, it would be better to do it earlier. Yeah, so can we like override the owner in in a I don't know Genesis file or something like that, or is that not an option? I, I think we can, like 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 we're doing for Shadow. I believe this should be possible for the Shadow fork as well. Yeah, then I suggest uh, I I'll deploy the contract now uh, so that it's done and uh, Shadow fork has it as well. And then in the shadow fork, we can, I mean, kind of fork it to, I, I don't know if it's in the Genesis JSON, but uh, just do some condition that says that this, uh, that the owner is some address we control, like you know, a basic private key, so that in the shadow fork, we can just upgrade it immediately, but while still making sure that we avoid any replay attacks. Which, I mean, if we're hard coding it in the in the execution clients, then there can't be a, a replay attack, right? All right. Uh, I guess the never the mind team is going to take care of this, right? Uh, I I will keep you posted as as uh, soon as I deploy the new version on mainnet, but not upgrade the deposit contract. Is there anything else regarding like the hot forks more specifically, or anything in general? I guess. Do, do you think we need to test something more? Do you have any ideas? What should be test, tested? I mean, at this point, I feel fairly comfortable with Hive tests, uh, like having done a, a good progress and uh, all the dev nets and the test nets. So I feel like everything should be good. Um, has anyone tried to do to call a climb uh, withdrawal function on Shadow? I asked for it like last week, I think, but. I'm not sure if anyone actually did it because I don't have validators, so I can't try it. You mean exactly on Shadow or on a DevNet or whatever? Yeah, on Shadow. Just um, like call the claim with role function. Nope, I think no. Yeah, Th then that would be good to just try. I mean, I'm not expecting any issues and then Maybe after that, uh, Igor can run his script again to make sure that the amount received is the amount that is also in the withdrawal part of the blocks. Uh, but I mean, I'm not expecting any issues on that re on that side. Uh, but it would still be nice to like do a, a quick check. And if it's wrong, then either way, uh, we have an issue. <laughs> it's too late to fix anything else. So, um, but we did it on uh, DevNets, uh, right, Ben? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, no, into that path was tested on, on DevNet for sure. All right, well, if that's it, then thanks for joining. Um, I'll keep you posted for the deposit contracts, upgrade, uh, contract deplo uh, deployment, yeah, sorry. Um, yeah, and contact the Black Scout and data scan guys. Yeah, and that's it, and thanks for joining, and see you next week then. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye, everyone.